it's a, an excellent opportunity for when you're participating with CBER and NCBA to network with other peers within your industry and share experiences and knowledge and information. Um, it's also an excellent vehicle, CBER is an excellent vehicle in which to represent uh, any import or views that we need to provide to other entities such as government. Um, and as yourself of course Jack, you know, we can ring you up and ask you to do something and quite often you do it. So that's pretty handy and flexible. I, I do agree with these breakfasts and that and sort of injecting ourselves and interacting with other professions and, and, and service lines just not only to promote our profile and what our brand is but um, the interaction with them will just generate contacts in, in, the, in, our, in our world, in our business world and business development prospects. Um, so those sorts of events which are, which where there isn't just a hundred surveyors in a room but there's surveyors and planners and lawyers and, and body corporate people and all that sort of thing, that might yeah, it would definitely bring a, a networking opportunity in that regard. I've been with this organisation for 21 years now and from as long as I can remember we have had a representative on either the CBA board or prior to that the Association of Consulting Surveyors. We see value in being uh, not just a member but actually actively participating in CBA and that's where we see our main value. So we see CBA as an avenue or a body in which we can make representations to industry, to government and on very on topical issues. So you know, CBA is a point, point of information and it also acts as a bit of a hunter and gatherer as well. So from a larger company's perspective we're looking at trying to influence decision making and policies and that sort of thing which will in turn generate work.